Uh, the workup, you guys, we talked a little bit about this, so blood tests, and, and, and Susan and others eloquently talked about all these prognostic markers. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna briefly go through this because I'm gonna tell you about how I feel about some of these things. Now, CAT scans, somebody brought up CAT scans. I think that's a very, very important question. And actually, I'm very mad at, where's, I'm a little mad at pharma uh, for this because on, some of, on, on many of the clinical trials we've participated in um, with the newer kinases, there were a lot of CAT scans. I couldn't stand it, right? I mean, it was annoying. My patient, our patients hated it. I hated it. Uh, but they were looking to make sure that, you know, with these new kinases, they were looking at lymph nodes and seeing how quickly they either shrank or grew. Okay. So CAT scans, unless at diagnosis, I actually don't do CAT scans. If somebody's got a complaint, I do a CAT scan. Or if I'm concerned, I do a CAT scan. Prior to therapy, I'll do a CAT scan. But just to, you know, many uh, in the US, so I don't know how it works in Canada, <laughs> but in the United States, a lot of oncologists will CAT scan their patients all the time, every six months. I am not gonna make a decision about CAT, you know, about changing the treatment recommendations on somebody if I see that their lymph node went from one centimeter to two centimeters. That's 100% growth. Somebody might make an argument, go, look, he grew 100%. Not enough reason to treat you. Don't CAT scan somebody. So unless there's a reason, somebody's got a complaint or an issue, repeated imaging is not necessary unless it makes sense, okay? And we're gonna talk uh, PET scans, I think they briefly talked about, and, and I realized the reason why I switched, because all the, all the fancy data got shown yesterday, so I pulled that out of my, my talk, but I realized, because people ask, what's an SUV, what's a PET scan? So CAT scans show three-dimensional imaging. So they look at organs, right? So they, they slice you up in the machine, not literally, um, but they, you know, they look at pictures that cut and you could look at organs and size of things and uh, you know, it's a picture. A PET scan is actually a glucose avid dye that goes to areas that are metabolically active. So that could be cancers, not all cancers. Um, that could be uh, infection. So somebody with an infection, it's gonna to go to areas that are metabolically active. And in CLL and lymphoma, your lymph nodes will, the radiologist reads this as degrees of uptake, that's this SUV. So when they look at this in, in lymphoma and CLL, the more mature lymphomas or indolent lymphomas like follicular and CLL, SLL, the cells you know, metabolize slowly, so they read them with very low uptake. But in large cell lymphoma or more aggressive lymphomas, a lymph node will be much hotter, so the SUV is a lot hotter. That's what Dr. Keating was referring to. That's where you use a PET scan. So if you're concerned that somebody's got a lot of symptoms out of proportion to what you think their disease is doing, a PET scan can be useful because you wanna know if there's a lymph node that's really, really hot, that's the lymph node you want to biopsy because you're trying to show the other cancer. You know, you're trying to prove that someone else may not just have CLL anymore. So you want to biopsy that lymph node, not a random lymph node. That's useless to me. So you want to biopsy a lymph node because you're trying to show that somebody's transformed because you might change their chemo accordingly. So just bi biopsying a random lymph node doesn't make any sense. So that's where we use PET scans in CLL, where we think that somebody might have more aggressive disease, their biology is changing, they're symptomatic. That's not routine CLL. We want to make sure that you know, it's not transformation or it's not something more ominous, where the treatment recommendations might be different. So having a random biopsy of a lymph node is useless. We want to use a PET scan to see if one is much hotter than the rest, and that's the one we want to go for, if it's feasible. <clears throat> 